What's going on Arizona sports fan family? We're back at it again with another video of the Arizona sports fan. Today what I want to talk about is have a realistic look of how the Arizona Cardinals are going to shake out for the first six games without DeAndre Hopkins. Let's dive right into it. Roll that intro. All right, everybody, welcome back in. Now, let's go ahead and get started on how I feel like this is going to shake out. Now, we got six games without DeAndre Hopkins, and obviously, there's a lot of people on the outside looking in, thinking that this is going to be a very tough thing for the Arizona Cardinals, especially because we really start off really hot, and then we tell off towards the end of the season. But some people are saying, hey, we're not going to start off so hot, but have a strong end to the season. And honestly, I kind of rather prefer it that way. I I'd rather be like, you know, all right and then be very very strong towards the end of the season as opposed to what we've been seeing for the past three years under cliff kingsbury but we're gonna look into the the first six games right no deandre hopkins but a lot of people forget we still have a very good wide receiving core and that's not even to mention our tight end and zach Ertz and max williams and a possibility of trey mcbride so we still got a lot of weapons, right? No DeAndre Hopkins or not, we still got a lot of weapons. So let's look into the Chiefs game, the Arizona Cardinals versus the Kansas City Chiefs, how I feel like this is going to shake out. Now, the expectation last year when we played against the Tennessee Titans, including myself, I thought we were going to lose that game. Legit, I did not think that we were going to beat them as bad as we did. Now, this one is a little different, right? They have a superstar quarterback in Patrick Mahomes. Andy Reid is a great head coach. They still have Travis Kelsey, but honestly, on the other side of the ball, the only really person that kind of scares me is Chris Jones in the defensive line. So I do feel like the Arizona Cardinals can shock the world and come up with the win. Now, I do think it's going to be a shootout for sure. I don't think this is going to be like a complete beatdown at all. I think this is going to be a shootout, but I do think that the Arizona Cardinals can pull the win off here. Um, And it's definitely really, really something that would make me excited because, hey, if that happens, a lot of people are going to start looking at the Arizona Cardinals a lot differently. So, 1-0, I have the Arizona Cardinals starting off for the first six games. Now, talking about the Raiders. Now, I know there's a lot of people saying that the Raiders aren't going to be very good, but they added a lot of great pieces this year, right? They got Devontae Adams. They got Chandler Jones. I think Chandler Jones is going to, you know, have a great game, or at least he's going to try to do everything in his power to you know, shift the momentum over to the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, this one is a kind of a tough one for me to choose from, um, especially because I want to lean towards the Arizona Cardinals, but I do think that the Raiders might have it in this time around. So I do think that they'll probably take the win here, and then we're going to start off one and one, and then we play against the Los Angeles Rams, but this is going to be our at our house. So Last year, the, the stigma was we sucked at home. Like, we couldn't do anything right at home. But I think this is going to be a different year, right? Different year, different regime, different, um, you know, kind of way of doing things. I do think that the Arizona Cardinals could beat the LA Rams the very first time this time around, especially because it's going to be in our house. Have us at 2-1 and one for the first three games. Now, going over to the next game, if you talk to any other NFL fan or any other you know NFL team, you look at the Panthers, you're like, oh, that's a win. But for some darn reason, the Arizona Cardinals can never win against the Carolina Panthers. I don't know what it is. They could have a just a mediocre quarterback and they somehow always beat us. I don't understand. Now, they do have Baker Mayfield. Kyler Murray does have Baker Mayfield's number, right? We're all fully aware of that. But I feel like with some magic power, because Baker Mayfield's going to put on a Panthers uniform, he's going to have our number. So I think we're going to be 2-2 two and two by the end of the four games. And I hate to say it. I really do. But until the Arizona Cardinals can prove that they can beat the Carolina Panthers... I got to choose the Carolina Panthers. So I have us going two and two going on to the next game. I do think that the Eagles have done very, very well this year. Definitely not taking anything away from them. Now, Jalen Hurts, on the other hand, we've seen him firsthand last year, or, or it might have been the, the year before when we ended up playing him. I, I like what I've seen from Jalen Hurts. Um, they're getting some weapons. They're getting some defensive pieces on their side. But I still do feel like the Arizona Cardinals do have a slight advantage over what they have over there in terms of weapons. Yes, we're not going to have DeAndre Hopkins, but we still have Marquise. We still have Rondell Moore. We still have AJ Green. We still have a lot of, you know, wide receivers and tight ends. So I think it's going to be a comeback game for Zach Ertz coming into Philly and he's going to go off and he's going to be the, uh, the difference maker for the Arizona Cardinals. So I have the Arizona Cardinals winning there as well. And that's going to put us at three and two. 
above 500. So I'm breathing happy. I'm excited. And now looking at the Seattle Seahawks. I mean, do we really need to talk about the Seattle Seahawks? They're going through some things over there in Seattle. They're completely in a rebuild mode. They're scrapping everything. I wouldn't be surprised if Pete Carroll goes away and gets fired by the end of this year. So I'm not going to really talk too much about this. The Seattle Seahawks are probably going to go and lose this game. Now, granted, this is in Lumen Field. We always have the best of luck over there, so that gives us another advantage there as well. So, the Arizona Cardinals, but for the first six games, if we are doing things right, can leave the first six games with no DeAndre Hopkins at 4-2. and two. Let me know what you guys think, guys. Put everything in the comments below. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and go Cards.